Hello and welcome to Mobility Mastery Monday. I'm Alicia and this is the place to be if you want to lose the pain, lose your fear of pain, learn to trust your body, and do what you love for life. Today I'm going to show you how to use a barbell to release your upper traps. This is a really awesome technique that's pretty effective for releasing the knots we all have back there uh, that can come on from either being overstretched, looking down all the time, or our traps being a bit overactive, which most of us tend to have happen a lot of the time. Okay, so we're gonna use a barbell here, and what I have set up for me right now is actually some of this cabinet kitchen liner um, that's kind of grippy, and it's gonna hold this towel onto the barbell um, and allow it not to slip. But the towel kind of just makes this a little bit more comfortable on my neck or upper trap while I'm releasing it. Or you could grab one of these, which just fits over the barbell, or you could actually just use the barbell itself but it's cold, it's metal, it doesn't feel super good and it's not gonna grab your fascia in an ideal way, but you could certainly do that. It's going to be good no matter how you do it. Okay, so you want the barbell about shoulder height, maybe a little higher. I have it higher here because I'm actually gonna be going up onto my tippy toes a bit and pushing my weight into the barbell um, via my trap. So, get your hair out of the way. <laughs> Um, I've also pulled the barbell towards me this way because I'm going to be holding onto it. If it were over here, it's, it's going to maybe slip around a bit. And then you're basically trying to wedge the barbell into your trap. So my leverage here is me going up, up onto my tippy toes, pushing into the barbell. Um, and you might need to play around with where you are on your traps. Everyone's gonna be a little different. I actually had to hunt around a bit to find um, the knots that I have in there as it relates to this technique itself today. So you might have to do the same thing. It's totally fine. Once you've got it, it's gonna feel um, easy to do uh, next time. So basically trying to wedge it back there and then this left arm, since I'm on my left side, is gonna be reaching down and what that does is it just kind of depresses the scapula and takes the trap with it in the opposite direction of what we're about to do, which is going to help release and stretch that fascia. So now that I've got it pinned, I'm going to take my head up and to the right and then down and back up. So this is basically going to stretch all of the fascia down towards that arm and then up to the skull. So we're basically pinning it and trying to stretch it in both directions doing this. Now I'm going to show you a little trick on how to actually grab the knot and get that to kind of clunk under you and release the fascial adhesion that could be in there as well. Okay, in order to grab the knot or fascial adhesion that's in there, uh, I, for my body, for what's happening back there, have to actually lean backwards a bit and then take my body forward and it kind of clunks every time I do that. Then I let up, reposition it and do it again. Um, and you might have a couple different spots that you can find as far, as far as fascial adhesions go. Totally go after anything that you find I would say is up for grabs. So you might have two spots, you might have three, maybe you just have one really big one and you're gonna work on that. Um, but when you combine this, it's like a one-two punch for releasing the fascia here. You wanna stretch it all um, and you wanna release that adhesion. So definitely give both a try. So keep in mind with this, that this is meant to be an upper trap release and we're not necessarily grabbing other muscles or fascia here. If you're gonna try to go after your scalenes, for example, you're gonna have a much better result if you target them individually as well and I have an amazing technique for that using a little cross ball and a pole rather than the barbell here but this barbell actually works beautifully for those upper traps. So go ahead and give this a try and let me know what you think about it and of course if you like this video then maybe give us a thumbs up or share on social media. For the full blog post you can click the link below and if you want new episodes emailed to your inbox every week then you can sign up for our free newsletter at mobilitymastery.com and of course you can subscribe here on YouTube as well. As always I hope you're learning to trust your body so you can adventure through life with confidence.